Photoshop isn't the only photo editing app you can draw with. A quick search online would show you all the alternatives to this raster wheeling beauty. And one such app is the ever reliable GIMP. I see this program as the off brand starter kit. Until you can acquire brand name programs like Photoshop, you will more than likely gravitate toward GIMP because of its affordability, which is free of charge. It's been a long time since I've used GIMP myself, but I don't recall the learning curve to be very high. Of course, it doesn't have the finesse that Adobe's Photoshop has, but this is definitely the app to use if you want to dab your toes in some ink. But we're not actually here to compare Photoshop and GIMP. It's Adobe Illustrator's time to shine. So, Photoshop is on the left side of the screen and Illustrator is on the right. As you can see, Illustrator has a brush tool as well, but the lines look very different from Photoshop, doesn't it? That's because Illustrator uses vectors or mathematical calculations to make lines and shapes. And these lines and shapes always want to stay on a path because of this. You can probably see the lines trying to correct themselves as I draw certain things like the thumb or ring finger. So not as fluid as Photoshop, but you can alter the lines to go in the direction you'd prefer with the direct selection tool. Also, I've decided to show you another tool to draw with besides the brush tool. It's called the pen tool. Photoshop has it too, but I prefer using the pen tool in Illustrator. The pen tool isn't like a flowing brush, it's calculating and involves a lot of points. In Illustrator, I prefer using this to its brush tool. I can get the contrast I want between the outer ink versus the small details in the hand. It does take a bit more time since you have to be more precise. Make note, it's better to outline the overall shape first and then go back and add what you need. With more complicated drawings, you'll have more shapes to outline. It's easier to increase vector stroke lines so you don't have to draw over certain lines like the raster programs. All you have to do is click on the arrow button in the stroke panel or type in the point size you want. The one thing I wish I could do easily in Illustrator is shading. In the past, I would use the pen tool and trace along the areas that were to be shaded. I've seen people do more efficient methods. No matter what, shading is more tedious than just having the freedom to color things in. Almost there. Just drawing some nails. Now, I'm just going back and using the width profile to get the line shape I desire. I mostly use the width profile one. I find it easier to have a flushed out rough draft before I go into Illustrator and use the tools. It's not fun having to figure things out halfway through. My drawings will look off and it just takes more time to complete the work. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and we can see how all three of these methods stack up. Which one is your favorite?